Okay, I, I've been telling people that have been uh, researching these sovereign citizens who claim to be Moore slash Moors for, it's coming up on four years now. Yes, there is a Moorish Science Temple of America, which is 100% totally different than these people. I have found well over 26 different factions of this mo this movement. So right now I have probably about half of them on, on here that I'm going to do. And just going to do it quick because I only have 15 minutes to do these videos. i got to find another thing that's a little bit longer, which I can, uh, that's free. But uh, this is the United States of America Republic Government. This is from Sea uh, Cannon Bay. And I'll just give you a quick look at, just a quick look. And that's about as much time as I'm going to spend on that. Then we have this guy here, which is the United States of North America, the Republic of North America. Um, Ernest um, Walker Bay. He's got a, he's he goes by a number of names, and as far as I know, there's only two pictures of him. And from the research I have done, he is in jail, and that's as much as I know about this guy. And this is the Moorish American government. I've shown. Uh, this video before on my other channel that I accidentally deleted, but I'll just quick look down here and boom, boom, boom. So they they basically have their own supposedly their own government, like supposedly uh, Light Tajiri Bay. So this is uh, Clock of Destiny, which is from uh, C.M. Bay, who basically broke off from the Moore Science Temple of America to become a basically sovereign citizen. This is also related to R.V. Bay Publications, who's related to uh, Taj Tariq Bay, who's related to um, House of the or the Rise of the Reawakening or something like that. I totally forgot what what it was, but. Taj Tariq Bay has his hands in a number of different factions of this Moorish movement. And let's just take a quick quick look at it. This is where a lot of people come up with the AAA 221141 and stating that it's, uh, that you're basically get out of jail and all your BS sovereign citizen bullcrap. But that's just a quick look at that. This is the well-known one, which is the Marsh American Consulate, which you have uh, Sharon Tracy Gale Bay, uh, Light Tajiri Bay, uh, Princess Ali, uh, um, Taj Tariq Bay, Shalimar Bay, who resigned his post and stuff like that. But um, there are, uh, I'm not going to do a video on the other factions of, there's, some, there's, there's at least six Moorish American consulates that uh, are different than this. I just don't want to go through all of them because I don't have enough time on these videos. But uh, once I get them, I'll I'll just do a video on all the Moorish American consulates that are throughout this country, and they they're not uh, um, affiliated with with each other. This one is called the Moorish Nation Public Records, and we'll just scroll down this one a little bit. They do the same document, basically the same BS as the uh, Moorish American Consulate. They like to do their paperwork and, and stuff like that. And the bullcrap sending out fake documents. This one is Moorish America or Moorish Nationality Card Service by uh, I can't even pronounce his son uh, the, the guy's name it's Allah la ba 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 bay and so they, they think this is a video that he just did the other day and let's just scroll down a little bit more.
Um, there that is. I just don't want to spend too much time. I've, I've on my other channel, I, I've uh, called him out a number of times and caught telling him that his uh, nationality cards are bull crap and they're not. Um, they're not worth anything. And this is back when it was one hundred and thirty-five dollars for the nationality card, and I just kept on going after him and going after him, and finally. <laughs> His prices got down pretty good, so, um, I mean, the, the more we go after these people, the more people will know what's going on. Here's another one that sells a bunch of their, uh, bullcrap. This one's just called nationalitycards.com. Then... There's that, and there's the famous AA222141. And they're selling these for thirty bucks a pop. You can get your turban for four sixty-five. Then uh, your different types of uh, nationality cards. Then we have Moore's Lives Matter. Then I then I found this. It's it's hashtag More Lives Matter, and let's just scroll down this just a little bit here, and it just shows you. You can get your uh, Moorish American travel documents uh, for one hundred and fifty dollars. You buy two, you get one free. Then. Uh, Scroll down a little bit more. Okay, enough of that. Spent too much time there. This one's called I Am A More, and you, if you notice, uh, David Sinclair on here, otherwise known as Taj Tariq Bey. And so this is probably another one of his um, doings. He also has a, a number of things, the, the Wushtashi or whatever you want to call it, Moors and, and, and stuff like that. Besides that, they have their own uh, Bureau of Motor Vehicles. In uh, Chicago, and there's your registration. And remember, call us at 773-359-3192. This is basically a spin-off of the Moorish Science Temple of America. This is called the Moorish Holy Temple of Science of the World. And I, I think this falls under Taj Trek Bay and all of them. I've noticed... Uh, his name was on on some of some of this information and stuff like that. And so just give you a quick look at that. Here's another quick one, the Moorish Oakland Star and Boom, there that is. Then we have the Moorish Directory. Take a quick look at this. Yeah, and I, I think this is this again is something to deal with Taj Turk Bay and all of them.
So it just gives you a clear picture of that. So this this is fairly new one I just came across the other day. It's uh, it's called nu.morish.org, and this is the uh, Moorish American Consulate for Jamal down there in or up there or wherever in uh, Rhode Island. There's Jamal right there with a Shalimar Bay, and. There's our great friend Jamal, and there's their website. Our their website is uh, riseofthemoors.com, and this one is called moorishsprings.com. Damn it! Yeah, again, this is called moorishsprings.com, and just a quick look down. It's this page took a lot long time to uh, to load, but it's just and the Moorish American all. Okay, so we got one more to do. Hold on. I mean, this is basically. 18 different factions that, the, that I just shown you of this sovereign citizen movement of these people who claim to be Moors or Moorish and they're nothing more than sovereign citizens and they're I'm gonna get some uh, hate comments and they're gonna say a sovereign citizen is a oxymoron and you can't be a sovereign and you can't be a citizen together but that's something the government made up a term the government made up and um basically you are sovereign citizens uh if you listen to uh pauline richie moore doing business as light tajiri bay as noble l would like to say um it's they, they start with these liens, then they do these termination of contracts that they call the police policy enforcers. The, the United States is a corporation. Your local government is a corporation. They have the right to travel because it's their land. They are heirs of this land. And they use the... Um, basically the bylaws of the Zodiac Constitution, who was done by a person called C.M. Bay. And basically it has, it's basically night and day between the Moorish Science Temple of America and the, the Zodiac Constitution. That's where they get all their bull crap of, uh, of lawlessness. Then there, the, the famous AA222141, they think it's a, just by putting that number on it, Makes it so you don't uh, get detained, you don't have to pay taxes, you're tax exempt, and it just it's just a bunch of bullshit. They started doing videos now of uh, um, using their nationality cards for tax exempt at stores and liquor stores, Best Buy, GameStop, beauty places, and stuff like that. So it's Sooner or later, this the, their movement is going to come to a complete halt. And I mean, right now, you've the, the latest victim right now is Sharon Tracy Gale. She's in jail, which her followers say that her, her and her kids are often hiding, but they are they're actually in jail. We have this person who goes by the name of Keisha Pink that was evicted from her apartment. You have Light Tajiri Bay that the police keep knocking on her door every day and there's a number of other people that follow this way that are in jail you just if you google moorish fails you can see a lot of them thank you for listening everybody